Our school is over for the weekend. And we've got ourselves an F1 and NASCAR double. But anyways, today we're reviewing Ryan Hunter Gray's 2020 number 28 DHL Honda for Andretti Autosports. I actually said it right that time. Let's get into this video. I want a Honda Ray. It's my first Honda Ray. I'm trying to test thing, but I really don't want to. Let's just get into this for you. I don't know what the intro is anymore. So what we have here is a beautiful mix of perfection and a perfect driver that should deserve much more than he already has. Here are the case. All right, anyways, here it is, the back of the box. Bit crusty right there, but okay, pretty good. All right, here's the trading card. Yeah, awesome, isn't it? Ooh, look at that. Look at that, man. He's had 17 years, but he still hasn't had... This man definitely deserves another win for sure. His last one should be at least in his retirement year. Hold up. I, should, yeah, I, I gotta get something first. Uh, I don't really want to edit that much. Yeah. It sounds lazy, but I, I need to be with that, so I need... I'm on Rossi cars because I've got to do a thumbnail on Thursday's Rossi. So, yeah, sorry. Alright. Now I'm trying to get to this review. So, on the front we have DHL Auto Nation number 28, DHL Entity Data, Honda, DHL, Gamebridge, Napa, Auto Nation. That's really hard to see. US Concrete, Dallara. I think I already said all nation. We have the Andretti Autosports logo right there. DHL's on the end plates, or the plates. Nothing there, okay. And then on the arrow screen, we have the Honda and Entity Data thing again. And then over here, we have a sponsor right under there. Take a look at that. It's racing for cancer. Uh, anyways, on the side, or on the side, yep, you have Autonation, Speed Refuel, powered by Honda. DHL, AutoNation, DHL. Let's Ryan Hunter Ray again, name right there. Number 28. Um, DHL and number 28. I saw an issue. What is going on there? Is that supposed to be there? I don't see any of the car. I don't know why that would be there. That black mark. That looks at it. That looks like it's supposed to be there, though. Oh, sharp busing going on. Wait, is that based on how it's like the busing? That's if that's the busing thing. I'm actually gonna be really mad because I go on those buses. Anyways, a good car. There's a couple um, paint chips and all. There's one right on the top of the street right there. The NTT data logo can still never get fixed. Um. Overall, the witch isn't bad. My first Hunter Ray I'm happy with. That might not do it justice, though. The number right down the bottom, you can take. It looks at the 3,046th car, I believe, they made. Just imagine making 3,000 more, over 3,000 more of these cars. That's kind of incredible when you think about that. I just dropped it. I'm an idiot, okay. Whoa, it's back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Kind of good credit to people that actually have to make these decals because you, you don't realize that you don't realize that most of these a little computer can kind of do them really it's best if a person does it so that's kind of where you forget credit is due overall though car looks uh pretty nice um also looks like the sonic logo from here but it's dhl i do wish they would change the colors we've had this since like over 2014 and this guy's been racing for 17 years. He's probably had the sponsor for most of his life. I like, actually, I forgot what year it was. He had the DHL car that was like just yellow and a bit of more yellow. It was, it was like, it was like a really, maybe a beige color. He looks really nice though, so. That's kind of shame. I wish they brought that car back though, because that would have honestly been awesome. Just reading some stuff here. I am becoming a very distracted person as the days go on. I don't know why, but I am. Anyways, overall, great diecast though. Good to have a new collection if you're a Hunter Ray fan, like I am somewhat. 
<clears throat> My throat's getting itchy now. Not COVID, I know that for a fact. Um, overall, though, I wish I. Mm, come on, we've all complained about this. Oh, I think the tire got locked up here. Okay, anyways. We all want the new wings. It, even if it's never gonna happen, I'd like to have the new wing. Even if it's on the 120, 118s. It's, we've had this indie wing forever now. Um, you, in 2017 and lower, we did have, you know, a better, like, closer wing. But in the end, we just want that rear wing. We've asked for it so long. Even though it's going to take a, a long time to manufacture, probably. We would love to have that. But overall, great car to add to the collection. And again, like you said, and overall, just the aero screens that you on the Andretti cars. It's doing them some justice. Gotta be honest. So, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe so you never miss another video. And tomorrow, we finish up the Canadian Drivers with James Hinsclish. Number 29, 2020 Genesis Honda for Andretti Autosports. Which he should be in the 26th now, but who cares? Peace out.